distance formula. D equals RT. All right, well, this is a formula that we plug numbers into and we just follow it. In this case, D means the distance that you traveled, R means the rate, speed, miles per hour, and the T means your time in the minutes, hours, seconds, days, weeks, months, whatever. It's the amount of time. So, let me show you this really quick. This is the formula we're using, distance, equals the rate times the time. Because remember when two letters are next to each other, it means multiply them? Well, this formula can be switched around in a bunch of different ways to use depending on what the word problem is or what the problem is. So sometimes you need to find the rate or you need to find the time. In that case, to find the rate, you're going to divide the distance by the time. If you need to find the time, then you're going to find the distance, divide the distance times the rate. Okay, so we're going to do all three of these, but let's take a look at the first one. How far can Ian drive in seven hours if he averages 50 miles an hour? So the first thing we have to do is find what the R and the T are, because we need to use this formula. We're trying to find the distance, so we need to find what the R and T are to be able to multiply them. Well, his rate of speed is 50 miles an hour. The time that he spent doing it is seven hours. So because we have to multiply these two, 50 times 7, we'll do it. 7 times 5 is 35, and you add the 0 if you want to do mental math. And that gives us 350 miles. Always remember to label your word problems. You could get it marked wrong if you don't. So distance equals 350 miles. Now let's look at this one. Now we're going to do the rate. We need to find the rate, so we're going to divide the distance by the time. On her trip, Mary drove 405 miles in nine hours. What was her average speed? So now we need to find the D and the T so that we can divide them to find the R. Well, the distance she went was 405 miles. The time it took her was nine hours. So now we're going to multiply the D and the T. We're going to divide the D and the T, I'm sorry. So. 405 divided by 9, 9 goes into 405, well, it goes into 40. 9 times 4 is 36, so we put the 4 up there, and we put the 36 down here, and we subtract. 40 minus 36 is 4, and now it's the 5's turn to come down. 9 goes into 45, 9 times 5 is 45, so that gives us a zero in remainder, so we know it took 45 miles per hour. That is her rate. 45 miles per hour is how fast she drove. Okay, now we need to find the time. So we're going to divide the distance by the rate. Ian has 280 miles left to drive on his trip. If he averages 40 miles per hour, how long will it take him to drive that distance? So now we need to find the D and the R so we can divide them. And that'll tell us the T, the time. Well, the distance he drove or needs to drive is 280 miles. The R, the rate, is 40 miles per hour that he is averaging for his rate of speed. So now we're going to divide these. All we have to do is take the zeros off and we get 28 over 4. And if you know your times table, you know that 7 times 4 is 28. So the time is 7 hours. Probably the hardest part about the distance formula is knowing which of these three you need to use. The easiest way is to look at the question. What was her average speed? So that's telling you rate. So you need to use this formula. How long will it take him? How long? That's time. So that means you're going to use this formula to find the time. Once you can discern which of these three ways of using the formula that you need, you'll know how to solve it and how to plug the correct answers in from the word problem.